Hey guys, welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jay Ruger, and today we're going to be filming with some makeup, telling some stories, and uh, just like shooting the shit, doing some makeup, being pretty. You know, it is what it is. Uh, before we jump into that, uh, you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Every time somebody subscribes to my channel, a raccoon gets its wings and viciously attacks a racist from the sky. So make sure you are smashing that subscribe button. And without further ado, let's get into it. I know I just said that we were about to get into it, but I just want to show you guys something real quick, because I am in the middle of redoing my entire fucking studio. The whole thing is just like being moved around and all kinds of stuff. Uh, but I'm gonna, we're gonna be having some new background stuff. Look at that. That is so cute! So freaking cute! I love it! It's gonna be in the background now. You guys can think Haley Dollar. She's been on my channel before you guys remember her. Uh, she gave me that. It's a really nice present. I really love it. And I'm very, very excited to put that in the background soon. Also joining my background will be this, you know, uh, geometric black skull. And, and this wonderful uh, black sand hourglass with little like skull hands for the wraparounds. I think it's really cute. I love it. I'm excited to put these things in my background. You guys are gonna be seeing a brand new background coming very soon and I'm so excited for that. And you guys can thank all my patrons over at my Patreon who support me. Uh, it's just my private blog and you guys can go and see just exclusive things content there. Uh, there's like one, two, five, ten, and fifteen dollar options available for it uh, if you guys head over there. But thank you, shout out right now, at the beginning of the video, not usually when I do this, but thank you to all my patrons over Patreon because without you guys, I wouldn't be able to afford any of the lights, recording camera, microphone, these background decorations, the new background I'm getting ready to put up, and all that stuff. Without you guys, none of this is possible, and I thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart because you guys make all of this possible and make my dreams come true. All right, so let's just get in. I'm going to prime and prep first. That's what I'm, <laughs> that's what you should always do first. Um. I'm going to be using these, I use these Burt's Bees things without fail. It's a toner and a moisturizer. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with these, but I am. And there's nothing anyone can do to stop me. I love this. I just, I just like soak a beauty blender in this toner. And I just swear to God, like this does something for me. So how's everyone been? I feel like I have been kind of MIA a little bit here from from YouTube a little bit. I've been like on and off again, showing up every few, uh, every every other week, you know, working really hard to get through things, but I've been kind of going through a lot recently with life. Tell me how you guys have been, like what's going on in your lives, comment down below. Um, tell me something good that's happened in your life. That's what I need to hear. I need to hear good things that have happened in people's lives. Go ahead and comment that down below. And I just really want to say it. I want to say some uplifting. Some uplifted ass shit. Okay. I'm going to be going in with the e.l.f. foundation. I have never used this foundation. I have not tried this foundation. This is a brand new bottle. Uh, I think all I did was like swatch the color to make sure it was right. Because you can't swatch it at the store because it's in a little fucking box. My hair is so blue. I just dyed it like literally hours ago. Like having a mental breakdown on Instagram about it. This is such a wet foundation. I'm not even gonna lie. I feel like this is not going to dry down even a little bit. I'm gonna use the Lorac concealer today. This is in the shade Warm. <laughs> it just held up my beauty blender like it was a mirror. <laughs> So anyway, I figured I would start telling you guys some more stories. I haven't done a story time in a long time, so I figured that it would be a good time for that. So I figured I was thinking like, what story time could I fucking tell that would be interesting? Um, and I was thinking about all the wild and crazy things that have happened in my life, which are a lot. Um, and I was just like, you know what would be a good one? The time my friends and I decided to set ourselves on fire. Who doesn't love a good 
setting yourself on fire story. I don't know what I'm going to title this video, but that's probably going to be in the title. So you guys probably already knew that coming into this, but whatever. I got my like cream contour today. I never do that. Like anyone who knows who's been watching me, keeps up with me, knows anything about me, knows I don't fucking do this. Let's just do it. Let's just see what happens. Well, since we use an e.l.f. foundation, let's go ahead and use an e.l.f. setting powder as well. A long time ago, when I was a young boy, my father definitely didn't take me to the city, uh, but I had some friends who, let's say we were not the best and brightest of our class. This was, this was in high school. This is a long time ago. Um, we were not the best or brightest in the class. Let's just say that. And we were hanging out like responsible young people and not doing anything wrong. Nothing. We were, um, super super duper well behaved and definitely were s sister sober. Nothing non-sister sober happening. We were all just, you know, like chit-chatting, talking, you know, you're like talking amongst yourselves, as people do, as the young folk do. Wow, as the young folk do. You, you know, you're hanging out, you're talking, you're shooting some shit, you're, you're chit chatting, like we are now. You and I here. You know, we were just talking about like interesting topics, you know, or what we thought was interesting at the time. Probably not very interesting, to be honest. Uh, but I remember I was talking to my friends about how my sister had told me the story about how a friend of hers was convinced, he was convinced that denim was fireproof. And he had convinced, he was trying to convince everyone else that his pants were fireproof. Of course, it's, denim is not fireproof. Like, spoiler alert, in case you didn't fucking know. So we were all talking about that, about how... Then I was like, oh yeah, and he set himself on fire because he thought his pants were uh, fireproof. Which, of course, they were not. And so he set himself on fire. Ooh. I just got this Morphe palette. I just picked this up. I've used it like two or three times. I'm excited. I love it. It's good, I think. We started talking about, like, to what degree is, um, our pants fireproof? And we really, we really didn't have a consensus, you know? We were like, you know, they're probably burned some, you know, or they might not burn at first. You know, we really couldn't agree to whether or not we really couldn't agree to whether or not like you know if I were to set this on fire is it going to burn immediately or will it like take work to get it to set fire spoiler alert it does take work to set denim on fire let me take this bend I read for a little bit of eye look. I'm gonna take this Maron White first. This was before everything imaginable was Googleable, you know? Some of y'all remember that. Before, like, everyone was doing dumb shit on the internet. So it wasn't exactly, like, a Googleable thing, like, how easy it is to set pants on fire. So we decided to try it out. So everyone, you know, 
start setting their pants on fire in different ways. Which, by the way, is a bad idea, in case you were wondering. Like, don't, don't do that. Uh, and you know, at first it started out with, like, holding a lighter to someone's pants and stuff like that. All super intelligent decisions, you know? Like, you know, nothing says, nothing says smart decision like holding a lighter to your friend's pants. And it's also funny because I think my sister told me that story as a warning, like, don't try and set your pants on fire. It just made me want to set my pants on fire. So everyone, we just started, you know, trying to think of easier ways to set denim on fire. Which, by the way, is not easy. It, it's a lot harder than you'd think it is. So if you, you know, were looking for the, probably a very, what is a, uh, fire a good fire resistant pair of pants denim's pretty pretty good i mean i'm not gonna lie like like not the not the worst results out of, out of this science experiment should i be zoomed in should i be closer so you guys i just got lost in eyeshadow for like a whole minute <laughs> i don't know what just happened there just got totally like sucked into that um i'm gonna take some of the wet and wild uh liquid foundation I'm gonna use that to cut a crease real quick. So if y'all just excuse me, I will come back to this story in a hot fucking minute. Okay, I'm back from doing eye makeup. <laughs> I got a little out of control, I think. Um, I'm gonna go and put on my mascara. This is the They're Real by Benefit. I'm really in love with this mascara recently. It just makes the lashes look so good. Let's move on to brows. I will of course be using Forever Magic Cosmetics. This is my favorite brow product ever. Uh, you can use code JRUGER, that's J-A-Y-Y-R-U-G-E-R, for 10% off. It's the only affiliate code I have, it's the only affiliate code I probably ever have, and um, yeah. I like this product a lot, and me standing up here saying that I have an affiliate code and that I like it does not mean that you have to buy it. You should not feel obligated to buy it. If you can't afford it, don't buy it. Like, there's, there's none, none of that is, is, is involved in this. It's just, I like the product. I like the brand. Uh, and so I had worked out an affiliate code with them. I was actually even part of their product launch, actually. I'm like an original influencer for this one, okay? Like, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yeah, speech. Oh, God. Love that. Back to my story. You know what? I'll come back at highlighter. So for highlighter today, I was thinking I might use the Pop Ux, Pop Ux, Pop Lux Black Ice. It looks like this. Uh, it's like a gray black in the pan, but it turns very like icy white on the skin. Um, I thought that would be like a really fun one to do for this while I finish this story. So we all started setting our pants on fire, right? And and so we eventually started putting gasoline on our pants to ignite this. And that's how I ended up putting gasoline in my pants and setting them on fire. I came home in my friend's, uh, like, sweatpants, and my mom's like, what happened to your pants? I'm like, I don't know. I was like, um, they got ruined or something? Don't ask me questions. She didn't like that. My mom was not happy with me for losing a pair of pants. She didn't like that. I'm gonna go back with a fine point brush to just get a little, um, precision highlighting in here. Yeah, I wasn't exactly the smartest when I was in high school, let's say. Yeah, that's very sayable. I was not the smartest in high school. I didn't do a lot of smart things. And that is the completed look. And that is a story. Took a little time to get there, but that is the story. <laughs> Sorry that I kept interrupting myself and getting sucked into the makeup. But you guys know how I get sometimes. Um, if you guys like this video, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. 
Remember, every time someone subscribes to my channel, a raccoon gets its wings and viciously attacks a racist from the sky. And until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.